I feel like with this generation, there's a lot of urgency because there's really no time to wait and it feels like our planet's really crying for help. The reason why I got into kayaking was because I was interested in the environment and specifically the alawai and the ocean. In Hawaii, I think we really take clean water for granted. It feels like it's everyone's responsibility to help with this environmental problem. And if people aren't taking charge, then that's why I felt like I wanted to start something. So often we're focused on our passions and dreams that we overlook the people who, who have allowed us to have them. People don't understand the sacrifices that veterans really make. They're suffering in large part because of society's mistakes. I didn't know that veterans came back home and became homeless sometimes. But once I learned and I understood, it's feeling compassion for the veteran to actually do something about it. I really wanted to find something where I could channel the resources of Punahou as a place to do research, as a place to build a physical object into the broader community in a way that we don't get to do when our research is detached from action. That's how I ended up working to design and then now to build a solar-powered community refrigerator. It started with graph paper and pencils and a ruler. I was sketching in my room, again, with really no idea what I was doing. But it got the idea down on paper, and so then I was able to show that to people in the faculty, to friends of mine who have taken engineering courses, and say, does this make sense? When it's built, that's really the first step. It's what comes after. It's the, the sharing and the community building and that fabric of sharing in a community is, I think, how we create strong communities and how we keep each other safe and healthy in our communities. So I heard about the Case Accelerator competition called Pitch the Pros from Mark Lawfridge He's just been a really good mentor to throw my ideas off of and help me get started. And so that really got me started with the Vi AI project. The goal for Vi AI is to be able to detect different bacteria in a water sample. The first step was to create an artificial intelligence that when you put water under the microscope, it'll tell you if it's clean or dirty. But then the Red Hill incident happened. The Navy already isolated its Red Hill water well. Displaced military families, they will not be able to go back home until the water is ruled to be safe. And that will not be in time for Christmas. I thought that the Red Hill incident was very scary because the people in that area had no idea that they were drinking this water that could potentially harm them. That kind of sparked interest in me pivoting the project to not only water quality scientists, but the public. What I see the VI AI prototype looking like is a handheld device that people can use. It will tell them what is in their water. Storytelling breaks these walls that separates us through like prejudice, racism, sexism. I thought that through telling the stories that these veterans had, whether it be on the street or in the service, once you listen to the stories and you understand that they're just another human trying to survive, then you can empathize and truly feel compassion. And you no longer need to force people to help. People will just be willing to help. So then I went to the Luke Center with my idea. It was just this concept of a bank of stories from homeless veterans. They had trust in my idea and they connected me with US Vets. I compiled all of these interviews I got from these veterans and I sorted them into different categories such as mental health, 
the living conditions on the streets. By sharing their stories with the Punahou community, I hope I can motivate some people to actually do something about the issue. This project helped me realize that being privileged, it doesn't make you obligated to help others, but it gives you the opportunity to help others. And that's something I really tapped into. At Punahou, we talk a lot about responsibility and the school's responsibility and the students' responsibilities. And I think that's important. I think it's a really big part of building a healthy school community and making Punahou what it is. But I think we should also always be thinking about how do we give back to the broader community? A lot of what we receive from Punahou, we receive because we're in Hawaii and we receive because of this place, because of the people in this place. And so I think a part of that responsibility to Punahou is a responsibility to go out into the broader community. The more we think about our home and Punahou and Hawaii as this one thing all tied up together, the more we'll be giving back to all of it at once. And I think the more we'll be doing projects that really matter, not just to the school or the students, but to everyone.